Life in a world that keeps changing Think that it's progress you're making Copy and paste pretty faces All the time Pictures so perfect we play Hello my correct people, welcome and welcome back again to my channel. I greet all of Una according to Una time. Yes, my wonderful people, today's news now concerning Oga Hope Uzodima, the governor of Imo State. In Gewiti Ibise he talk, he say politicians they attack themselves. Some of them pretend say they don't know what thing they happen. And he said the attack for that prison break, he said now a fellow politician, now a regime, to tarnish APC. So make it not be saying now my mouth, now go for you everything, make I drop the video sharply, make you not watch And may why, if you're not the first time, we'll be saying they come across my channel, I will make you not fail to hit on the red subscribe button, put on the notification bell so that anytime I drop any new video, you will get notification and you can still check them out and make you not fail to leave your comment below with thing you think like the video share to all my returning subscribers thank you very much for always tuning in let's watch the video below thank you but what happened in nemo state last monday is unbelievable a group of hoodlums of course, sponsored by some non politicians in Amos State, decided to destroy public infrastructure and government facilities and attacked the Correctional Center facilities and also attacked the police state headquarters, put so many vehicles ablaze, broke the Correctional facilities open and the inmates escaped. However, as at this afternoon, over 80 of these inmates have returned back to the facility. Why police and the security agencies are still uh, fishing, identifying some and bringing them back to the facility. But what is important here for take home is for Nigerians to know of the plot by a group of aggrieved politicians to destabilize the government of APC. I have done some thorough investigation and I have a credible lead as to those who are sponsoring these activities of these hoodlums. I don't want to preempt the other investigations by security agencies. But I can tell you we are working hard to ensure that the sponsors of this dastardly act must be brought to book. You have confirmed to us tonight that what we have seen in Emo said in the past few days is political in nature. Is it possible that you can give us more into who these people are and perhaps maybe give us one or two of their names? Because I don't want to preempt the ongoing investigation, but we have already credible evidence leading to those who paid the hoodlums, where they met, and how they met. And uh, security agencies are already working with this information. Confirm to us uh, emphatically, you're saying that this was a direct attack on your government. It is not only on my government. It is both on my government and federal government. Shewu, let me tell you the situation in the country currently is that some people are trying to sponsor what I can call a synchronized national crisis to bring the government of Mohammed Buhari to disrepute. Otherwise, tell me why these things are happening at this time, particularly in Imo State, APC State particularly in a boy state, APC state. What is it? People are sponsoring these people. And some of them already caught, have made confessional statements. I am going to forward my report to the central government. And I must follow up to ensure those behind these things are brought to book. 
do you subscribe governor to the police preliminary investigation where they said ipop and the uh, msn are responsible for the attacks the attack is that they try to identify grievances of people in a particular area if it is in a state and probably there are some IPOP people who are not happy, they hire hoodlums from outside the Imo state. They bring them in pretending to be IPOP and they commit this crime and they, leave, uh, they go away. So it is not about IPOP. Yes, we agree. We have aggrieved IPOP members, but I can tell you, those who are doing this destruction, most of them were brought from outside the Imo state. So, um, if you say that they are really not IPOB members, uh, another insinuation that a few uh, commentators have put into this is perhaps the military operations that we saw in the past few days, which of course you also commented about. Is there any link between that military operations and what we saw in the last few days? As I speak to you, honest political leaders and religious leaders have approached me to encourage military to come around because these people have created fear into the citizens by their dastardly uh, act. So it is not about military. If anything, our people want the military around so that they can have a sense of security and go about their businesses without fear of any molestation. But uh, in what we, we have seen, uh, you said that you are going to send a report uh, to, uh, to the federal government on uh, what is happening. So how do you then handle uh, the situation going forward? Your people need assurances that they could be safe in their own land, in their own state, and in their own community. Any guarantees for them, the ones that you have done immediately, and the plans that you have for the immediate future? Yeah, yesterday, the former Inspector General of Police visited the Imo State and addressed his men. The Vice President visited the Imo State and gave word of encouragement to our leaders and had a very serious meeting with security agencies. That brought hope back to our people. As I speak to you, normal businesses have resumed in Imo State. People are going about their businesses particularly given the manhood embarked upon by security agencies trying to ensure that those who escaped from the correctional facilities, uh, correctional services facility are brought back to, to the yard. So the, you can see uh, if you go around or worry now, people are doing their businesses, normal businesses have also resumed. And we have also continued with our governance approach we are doing our normal businesses as a government because the intention of these wicked people is really to distract and destroy our government. But to the glory of God, they were not successful. How do we imagine that people are already organizing press conferences in Abuja trying to address press as to what they thought that could have happened in Imo State? But God stopped to them and they were not successful in their operation yes so, they were or, or, they, yet they went ahead to organize press conferences to paint a picture of uh, loss of governance in Imo state you have attributed the attacks on uh, political detractors you've linked them into these are you responding in any way politically uh, in the, with all of this because uh, in the way of politicians the, if there is a political move there is a political counter move are you making any of those moves or what would you be your next move politically speaking well sure I believe that power belongs to God and I'm here by the grace of God and uh, honestly speaking I'll do my best to serve Imo State to the satisfaction of our people and to the glory of God I am not going to do anything ulterior, anything illegal in the name of politics. I want to serve humanity and I want to serve God. 
looking critically at those incidents i've tried to look, sit down and analyze how this thing panned out and the uh, reports from eyewitness and uh, those who uh, saw the aftermath it does look like the incidents of monday and tuesday uh, organized and orchestrated what import or implications have you drawn into these incidents in the manner in which they came first and foremost it took more than an hour for them to stage that attack it also intelligence wise one we wonder how they uh, they congregated and they moved and we understand also that in less than a kilometer is a military formation to the um, to some of those places where this attack happened what do you what are the inferences you have drawn and lessons that you have taken from that attack and the orchestration the way it was organized well until the security agencies who are professionally trained to carry out investigation they have gone into the matter and as soon as their report is ready i will make available the report to the public details of the modus operandi for the operation will be contained in the report. But what I do know is that we are operating a three-hour government here. Government of reconstruction, government of rehabilitation, and government of recovery. And that means that some people, some tools have been matched. And those who are against this reconstruction and recovery, of course, will do anything within their behest to stop us from serving the people. But however, we are determined. We are going to serve our people. So let, let's get some clarity, Governor, if you can tell us uh, a bit more. Um, the politicians that you are in, inferring that are responsible for this, are they members of your party? Are they from uh, Imo State? Joe, I will plead and crave your indulgence to not allow me to preempt the ongoing investigation and the job of security agencies. Let us probably by next week or two, after they would have completed their job, go into the into details of the report that they'll come out with. Does it worry you, Governor, that they made attempts to come into the government house? There was an attempt to do that. That uh, operation of uh, these attackers ha happened for several minutes also. Does it worry you that this was ongoing um, and uh, it perhaps uh, identified some kind of loophole in the security of the state? Well, in every business like security, cases like this will make all the agencies to review their strategy, look at the way they work, and then correct and amend and going forward to ensure that this kind of thing doesn't happen, happen again. I think what is of great concern is the origin of the action. Let us take it from the root and ensure that it doesn't happen again. But I believe that our security agencies will do their work and I'm almost confident and certain that they are equal to the job. So you and your colleagues in the Southeast region have uh, talked about um, a security outfit just like we have in Southwest Amotekun. Uh, the Southeast governors are also uh, thinking about a security outfit like that. Um, is there time for you to make haste on that? Are you also empowering um, the local vigilantes as local measures in uh, uh, stopping or preventing this kind of situation? In the name of state, I've trained over 4,350 4, young men and women uh, at the police college Oji River as members of police community, uh, community policing. Uh, working with our local vigilante and our town union, we are mobilizing all the communities to support the efforts of security agencies so that it will be a holistic approach, working with community leaders and our young men and women, with also Nigerian police and other security agencies. In the day we coming, I'm sure that we will strengthen our security here in Nemo State and it will be a win-win situation for all of us. 
what about the south southeast uh, security outfit any any news about that so, uh, because someone i mean people will well, wonder is it is it not a good time for you to uh, uh, hit the ground running you know there are peculiarities the situation in southwest may not be the same thing in, with southeast and so we are looking at how to put our security arrangement complementary to the federal security forces in a manner that will create a win-win situation without offending uh, the target which is to protect our people and ensure our people are also united and they are prosperous in their businesses so it is not about whether it is regional security or not but we in the south is five of us we are working together and we are doing collaboration and we are sharing intelligence we are also sharing ideas i can assure you that uh, we are going to come up with a strategy that will remedy the situation in southeast working with the federal government because the job of security of any region federal government alone cannot do it region alone cannot do it but we have to work in collaboration hand in hand to be able to provide security for lives and properties in our region yes so my wonderful people welcome back Thank you very much for watching. When I don't hear what our governor talk of, he say na political fight, na ain't go cause that prison break. He also say they hire woodlands from outside Imu to go release them so that they go come tarnish APC government. Na so he talk among my people. What he make me come back again? I say make I come ask una how una see him. What he talk so? I bet Mukla not feel to leave on a comment for the comment session. Thank you very much till I come your way again. Stay blessed, stay safe, and stay cool. I beg, subscribe if you never subscribe. Turn on the bell so you continue to get notification anytime we be say I take drop any new video. Also help me like the video, share them. Thank you very much and God bless you as you do so. Bye bye.